Yup, that's right. A robot hand just flipped you off. And if you thought that was crazy, wait until you see what the company behind it, Clone Robotics, just unveiled. The way that the synthetic muscles contract, expand and twist feels a little too real and honestly kind of creepy. It's the kind of thing that makes you wonder, are we creating the future or a robot uprising? I know that sounds cliche, but watching this thing move is enough to make you question if robot horror films were actually predicting something. But that aside, what Clone Robotics is doing is truly extraordinary. So let's dive into what exactly it is they are doing and why it's both fascinating and kind of terrifying. So Clone Robotics was founded in 2021, and as you can see here on their website, their mission is to build intelligent androids that replicate human anatomy and can solve common problems of daily life. But unlike traditional robots that rely on motors and rigid parts, Clone is pioneering the use of biomimetic technology. That means creating robots with artificial muscles, skeletal systems, and even lifelike hands that mimic the way our bodies work. And the really cool thing is that Clone is actually preparing to ship out these robots. And as you can see here, you can reserve your own clone in 2025. So it says here, they are only building 279 units of their limited edition Clone Alpha. And it can do all of these things listed here, which is honestly kind of crazy to think that these robots are going to be literally in people's homes very soon. And here it talks a bit about how their journey began with their clone hand, which I'll talk more about in just a second. There's also the Neo clone that they are currently working on, which seems to be some sort of full-bodied robot. But there hasn't been much information on this since it is still in development. But hopefully we can hear more about that from Clone in the coming years. Anyways, moving on, let's talk a bit more about how Clone's robot torso actually works. Because if you've been paying attention, you might have realised these incredibly muscle-like mechanisms in the robot, which is an example of the biomimetic technology I mentioned earlier. So here, back on Clone's website, we can see more about their innovative synthetic organ system, which consists of four parts, a muscular, skeletal, nervous and vascular system. But the most interesting one here that I want to talk about today is the muscular system, and that's because Clone's approach to it is very different from what other robotics companies are doing. But first, let's talk a bit more about the clone hand. Now, the hand, like the rest of the torso, contains artificial bones, ligaments and muscles, which offer all 27 degrees of freedom of the human hand, resulting in these incredibly lifelike movements. As you can see here, it can do finger flexion, abduction, adduction, and even wrist pronation and supination. And all these capabilities aren't just for show either because the hand also has some crazy grip strength and here it easily picks up over 40 pounds of weight. And in a video just two years ago, they've claimed that it is the world's strongest biomimetic hand. And here you can see its crazy versatility with its grip, even holding things between its fingers. Now this is all very impressive, but how have they done it? How has Clone Robotics been able to build this incredibly lifelike muscular system? Well, it's done through their own myofiber technology, which are these artificial muscle fibers that essentially mimic the way our muscles function. Now, without boring you too much with the details, our muscles are made up of muscle fibers, and those cells contain a bunch of these chains of myofibrils, which gives our muscles their fundamental property of contractility. And Clone has developed their own myofiber technology to mimic this. And finally, before we move on to the torso, which I know you're dying to hear about, another cool thing I want to mention is that the Clone hand is teleoperable, meaning that there's basically this puppet master controlling the hand, which I just thought was super cool. And you can see that in this video here. Anyways, moving on to the most exciting and also creepy bit, and that is the torso. Now, if you remember earlier in the video, I mentioned that Clone's approach to developing artificial muscles is untraditional. And that's because Clone is using water-powered artificial muscles compared to the more traditional mechanical actuators. 
The way this works is a hydraulic pump circulates water through the robot's vascular system, which creates pressure and causes the artificial muscles to contract like human ones. What's even cooler is that these muscles are still able to operate even while bleeding. And in this video, it looks as if the muscle is self-regenerating after being damaged. But this does lead to certain safety concerns and is potentially a major reason why other companies are not choosing to use hydraulic actuators in their robots. The liquid being pumped through the robot's muscles is at a very high pressure. So unless Clone is going to design their robot with tough skin that can withstand that pressure, then there's the real risk of harm. Imagine that water jet shooting into someone's face or eyes, or potentially damaging the robot's surroundings if it were in a home. Personally, seeing major progress in humanoid robots like this excites me, but it's also reasonable for some people to feel scared. After all, the robot does look kind of creepy and gives off robot apocalypse vibes. But that's the double-edged sword of innovation, isn't it? On one hand, this technology has the potential to revolutionise the way we live. And on the other hand, it's natural to feel a twinge of unease. Movies, books and even our imaginations have long warned us about the potential dangers of creating machines that are too lifelike or too intelligent. At the end of the day, clone robotics is undeniably pushing boundaries, but it's up to us as a society to decide how far we're willing to go and how we handle the challenges that come with it. So whether you're thrilled, terrified, or a bit of both, one thing's for sure, the future is arriving faster than we might have expected. And just a final note, this video covered only a tiny portion of Clone's achievements. So please head over to their website or their own YouTube channel to see all the cool stuff they've been up to. Also, make sure to subscribe and leave a like for more content like this on AI, robotics, and so much more. Thanks for watching.